Princess Kate's return the light in the darkness as the royal family grapples with health issues. The Princess of Wales's return to public duties at Trooping the Colour has been hailed as a light in the darkness after a horrible six months for the royal family. Returning to the royal spotlight after six months, Princess Kate made an official appearance at the King's birthday parade alongside her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Speaking to GB News Royal Correspondent Cameron Walker and GBNews.com's Royal Editor Svar Sen on the Royal Record, GB News presenter Ellie Costello praised the princess's clear sense of duty, calling this year's Trooping the Color Moving, emotional and extra special. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Despite Cameron fessing up to having been drenched in a tent by sideways rain while covering the festivities for GB News, he described the parade as just so magical. Introducing Ellie to the show, Cameron said, Trooping the color was just so magical after the year the royal family have had, with all the horrible health scares, to see both the King and the Princess of Wales actually there in front of the public. In response, Ellie praised the pomp and pageantry of the day, and though she noted Kate's apparent weakness compared to how she usually looks, she described the moving Princess of Wales's return as beautiful. She said, it was the light in the darkness, wasn't it? I think the family have had just such a difficult six months in particular, with the King's cancer diagnosis, with Catherine's cancer diagnosis, it really was just so moving. I felt moved to see them together as a family. Obviously, there was, the pomp and the pageantry and everything that we do so well as the British royal family, but to actually see them together as a unit, and to see the king looking so well, was very moving. Catherine, I thought, did look a little bit weak compared to how she usually looks, but to see her there with the children and looking so beautiful, it really was just a magical moment to see. I imagine lots of people across country felt moved by that. Svar added, Trooping the color is always a highlight of the royal calendar. But this year it did feel extra special, with all the health circumstances going on, to see the, the king, Kate and the children looking so happy. Ellie replied, it had the emotional element this year that perhaps it hadn't in times before, it's got the pomp, the pageantry, but it is that sense of duty, just coming out and doing your duty, and doing it so well but this time it did feel more like a family occasion. We hear so much, don't we, about having this reduced royal family and having a smaller circle and it felt intimate this year and very special. So it was lovely, despite the rain. It was lovely. Princess Kate and Prince William have been praised for their beautiful tribute from Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace released a new video of Prince William and Kate to commemorate Armed Forces Day on Saturday. The video highlighted the couple's work over the past year, including snippets of both the Prince and Princess of Wales. It showed Prince William, 42, meeting and speaking with veterans to mark the D-Day 80th anniversary in June, and finished with a shot of the Red Arrows. The Princess, also 42, is continuing her recovery from cancer treatment away from the public eye. Royal fans hailed the new video as a beautiful tribute. The 40-second video was posted on Kensington Palace's official social media accounts alongside the caption, On Armed Forces Day we thank all those serving in our military, in the UK and around the world, and the loved ones who support them in everything they do for our country. One clip showed William wearing camouflage military gear to visit the Mercian Regiment after being appointed Colonel-in-Chief. The Prince of Wales was appointed Colonel-in-Chief of the Mercian Regiment by the King last August, which provides the fighting element of the British Armed Forces. Meanwhile, a clip of the Princess of Wales showed her visiting the Royal Navy Air Station in Yeovilton in September last year. Footage showed the princess concentrating on the landing strip outside while wearing a headset, and laughing with members of the crew. Armed Forces Day is intended to be an annual celebration of personnel, service families, veterans and cadets in the Armed Forces community. It also marks the culmination of a week of celebrations, which began last Monday, 
when the public showed their support and appreciation for the armed forces. Other gestures taken by the royals to mark Armed Forces Day included a new photo of the king being released, while Queen Camilla thanked the military for how they support and strengthen our nation. The portrait was taken by Hugo Bernand in Windsor Castle's Grand Corridor last year. It depicts the monarch wearing his Field Marshal No. 1 full ceremonial frockcoat with medals, sword and decorations.